Hey, what's good, right? This is Adnan or AD in the clutch. And uh, staying with the Cleveland Cavaliers, I want to talk about, um, you know, a superstar that uh, could be on the move, and uh, that's Donovan Mitchell. I did mention in my previous video how, um, talking about Imani Bates, how uh, just when I thought, like, the Cleveland Cavaliers have a bright future and they could be uh, deep playoff contenders, uh, basically, for the foreseeable future. That's what I thought until um, I came across this report uh, from Sports Illustrated, how an NBA insider believes that there is no chance that Donovan Mitchell resigns with the Cavs um, because like and he, he mentioned how like you know the Cavs are more, more likely to um, you know lose in the first round then um, win two rounds and then like um, you know the Cavs like this is their window um, to win with Donovan Mitchell is during his contract um, that he's under right now uh, which is uh, he has three years remaining including a player option in the third year so um, basically the Cavs are on the clock and um, what, uh, what's also being reported is that um, most likely um, the Knicks are the team that Donovan Mitchell wants to sign with because, um, you know, if we remember correctly, you know, last year how um, Donovan Mitchell, he wanted to, uh, to go to the Knicks and the Knicks had the most assets. All right? I remember it was between um, the Knicks and the Heat. That was the most likely uh, teams that were um, going to trade for Donovan Mitchell but the Knicks were the clear favorites because, you know, they had so many uh, young players and so many draft picks. Like, you know, I, I think if I remember correctly, they, they had the ability to offer six first round picks for Donovan Mitchell, if I remember correctly, but, uh, and they wanted to offer, you know, they, you know, I think they also had the chance to also offer RJ Barrett, but like, I think that's what uh, held them back before Cleveland all of a sudden um, traded for Mitchell, which um, in my opinion, as a Heat fan, that really frustrated me given like the package. I was like, <laughs> I was shocked like the Knicks didn't, you know, they, they couldn't get a similar offer or an offer slightly better than Cleveland's. And, um, you know, maybe like uh, this is a uh, Donovan's chance like to, um, on his terms, go to go to the team he's always wanted to go to, which is the Knicks. You know, from where, where he's from and everything. And um, you know, like if I'm if I'm Cleveland, I'd be very concerned because um, you know, Donovan Mitchell, he's a true superstar in my opinion. You know, yes, he did fall off in the playoffs, but like you know, we can't deny his talent. We can't deny like this man is capable of doing amazing things. Like he scored 71 points. You know. <laughs> This past season, it was unbelievable, and he um, during the regular season averaged 28.3 points per game, 4.2 rebounds, 4.4 assists, one and a half steals, shooting 48.4 percent from the field and 38.6 percent from three-point range. Like this man, he is amazing at what he does, you know. And um, Cleveland, like um, you know, they have a young squad. You know, they got really great players. You know, like I mentioned, you know, in my previous video, they got Darius Garland. Evan Mobley, Amani Bates now, you know, and um, they got they got some good depth as well, you know, like uh, a Coro, you know, they have plenty of people that they can um, they can work around. They just need like a little more experience. I do believe that uh, Cleveland, you know, going through um, <clears throat> going through the playoffs against the Knicks, uh, a tough defensive team under Tom Thibodeau. I do believe this was a, like a, a good test, you know, for Cleveland, and maybe this will wake them up so that you know, for this upcoming season, you know, they can prepare for a strong defensive team like a New York or like a Boston or a Miami. And, you know, they can be able to like, um, you know, with that experience, they can possibly defeat them and go deeper in the playoffs. But now it's like, now there's added pressure because of these reports. I don't know, like, if it's just the insider just saying it just to grab headlines, or maybe this is someone from, from Mitchell's camp, uh, you know, dropping this, you know, just to like, put pressure on the Cavs or like, you know, giving him like indication like, hey, I don't want to be here. I never wanted to be here to begin with. I just want to go back home to New York. You know, I don't know if that's what this is um, for Donovan, but uh, you know, this is very concerning, especially I'm a Cavs fan. I would be, I would be like, um, what do we do here? <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. Like um, hopefully like Cleveland will be smart with it. Um, you know, they, Best case scenario, like they do have two seasons with Donovan. So um, maybe they can um, run this squad, you know, run it back, you know, and, um, you know, with that experience can um, take on, like like I said, those those teams I, I listed that um, could be possible uh, playoff threats or they could make a, a big trade um, in the middle of the season um, to bolster that, uh, that roster 
or go aggressive in the buyout market so that they can um, have more depth um, for the playoffs. But um, I don't know how uh, how this is gonna go. But like, um, but if I was the Cavs, if I was running the team um, with the two years, I do have that flexibility. So I wouldn't trade Donovan Mitchell um, like the report suggested. Um, what I would do personally, I would just, you know, like I mentioned, I would just stand pat, um, give this team one more chance, you know, to go at it. And if they if they do lose in the first round, um, like it's predicted, then I will go for a big trade, you know, not necessarily for Donovan Mitchell, but like to um, a trade to um, compliment him, you know, to build around, um, build around Donovan and, uh, you know, like go all in, you know, for potentially his last year, you know, to show that, you know, we're serious, we care for you, we want to win with you, you're our main guy, you know, there's a reason why we traded for you, you know, that's how I would approach it, you know, um, as my two-year agenda plan, but, um, because I don't want to show, like, desperation, especially, like, from Cleveland, based on this report, because then I have to give up more first-round picks, I have to give up more assets, or possibly I have to trade, you know, like a Okoro, or a Mobley just so I have a, you know, a potential win now player, but could fall off as soon as uh, we get him, you know? So that's why I'll try to take it like a patiently aggressive role, but I don't know. Um, what do you guys think, especially Cavs fans? Like, let me know in the comment section. Please let me know, uh, how would you approach this uh, report? Is it just smoke and mirrors? Um, what's your strategy? Would you um, go all in right now? Or would you give it a year since uh, you do have Donovan Mitchell for at least two more years? Um, or would you trade Mitchell ASAP so you can get the most value out of him, you know, and, uh, you know, potentially not lose him for nothing. Like, let me know what you guys think down below. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, I certainly appreciate every single one of you guys. God bless you all. Talk soon.